Good evening, good evening, good evening, everyone. God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. I pray all is well, I pray all is well. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Are you happy on tonight, amen? Are you well on tonight? Are you good? Amen, we good, we good, we good. First, we wanna greet those on the radio. We wanna thank God for our radio listeners that listen to us all around the world. We want to shout out to Africa. We want to shout out to Asia. We want to shout out to London. We want to shout out to Israel. We want to thank God for those in Asia and all over in Italy. We want to thank you guys for tuning in on the Timmy Radio broadcast of Men to Men Talk Back to Talk Show. We want to thank God for all of you on this evening, but we have a good conversation on night and we're waiting on uh, for our co-host to come on tonight. So we just thank and praise God for all of you that will check us out, whether it's on the live or on the on the replay. Amen. And on the replay. But let me see if I can do some things here because we're going to get on into it tonight. It won't be uh, that long tonight, but we want to talk about some things, man. We talked about some last week and a lot of our uh, viewers had comments last week. And one of the things that they, uh, uh, one of our viewers commented was about uh, adults having a child mentality. Uh, 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 so we want to hit on that and we want to definitely try to see if we could talk about those things and discuss those things because we see a lot of grown folks out here acting crazy. A lot of grown folks act, acting like kids, you know, walking around th- still acting like they're in high school and they grown. They like they w- surpass grown. <laughs> they they way past grown. So this is what we're talking about tonight and we want to hit on that. And again, if he uh, give him a few more minutes to get on tonight and uh, while we're waiting, while we're waiting, hopefully, uh, I don't know what this is doing here. Groups, jobs. Um, see, that's what I'm saying. I don't like this other view right here. I don't understand this right here. But anyway, okay, that ain't what I want. I'm trying to get this stuff set in tonight, but I don't know how in the world I did that right there. Lean group, little group. I don't want this option. I don't know. I don't know why it's why it's tripping. I don't know why it's tripping. Anyway, it's tripping, tripping tonight, and this is not. <laughs> this is what happens sometimes. I was trying to get ready to share it on Facebook, but it's acting like it don't want to, and I don't understand why. I I don't understand why it's not doing what it needs to do. I don't. I'm trying to figure it out right now. But anyway, I hope all is well, with you guys. Yeah. <laughs> You had a good week so far. This day is Wednesday, hump day. I hope you all are having a good day. I'm trying to find this here. I'm trying to get this, but it acting like it's not going to come up. And I don't know why. And I don't want to loop. I don't want to leak my group, create a group, link your group. I don't want to link my group. I don't want to link nothing. And this is where it's not, it's not even tripping. Anyway, I'm trying to do this right here, but it's not letting me get on the group. Maybe I need to. Maybe I need to search it. Maybe that's what I need to do. Maybe that's what I do. Hold on, man. Let me see if that'll let me do it this way. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. We're trying to get this uh, situated tonight, and it's like it's taking forever. It's taking for it's taking forever. Well, I hope all is well. I don't know who's on here checking us out right now, but we're trying to get this live going good, and it's taking a little bit of time here. Let me turn this down. All right, so here we go. I think I can share it like that. All right, so I'm gonna copy it here. All right, I'm gonna share it. So we're gonna get to the conversation in a minute. And if not, then I definitely uh, we we'll, we'll, we might have to do this uh, next week. We might have to pick it back up uh, for next week. All right, but anyway, tonight conversation was supposed to be about uh, adults and uh, um, adults with a child mentality, and we definitely wanted to talk about that tonight because we see that a lot of people uh, out here um, supposed to be grown. 30, 40, 50, 60 years old, maybe even some 70 year old uh, with, a, with a child mentality, you know, d- petty stuff, doing crazy stuff that you would do when you're young. And so or some people still trying to act young. You know, there's some 
uh, uh, men that are still trying to sag. I mean, how you grown? How you a grown man and you still around sagging? How how is that even a thing? <laughs> how is he, how is that even a thing? And so we got to get to a point now, understanding now. How is that? A, how is that even a thing? You know, how is that a thing? So I, I don't understand how is that a thing when when we supposed to be men with standards and men, you know, of integrity, men of of, of, of showing young men how to become men. But we so so many times we out here doing the same thing they doing. You know, walking around here, you you uh, almost fifty years old, you still your music all the way to the sky. How is that? How is that with that? That's a child mentality. You know, I mean, you got chokers rocking around here still booming the boom box. You know, I mean, every once in a while, I mean, but every day, every day, I don't understand it. Every day. So this is what we are talking about tonight. We want to definitely be hitting that tonight, man, because we see that, you know, we see this This is the conversation. Adults with a child mentality and young people having children and aren't aren't ready are not ready uh for fatherhood or motherhood. This is what we seeing today and nobody addressing it, nobody's talking about it. If they are talking about it, they're not having uh, uh sessions or they're not having conferences or they're not having uh, uh the round table discussion. We need more round table discussions. We need more of us talking about uh to our young people uh because a lot of the young people are, are, are already children having children. That's basically where we are today. Children having children. So we gotta get to the point where we need the round table discussion. We need a summit. We need to have these conferences and we need to go to these issues and, and let them know that this this is not really what uh, according to God's plan for children to have children. And then you grow up, they're having children and they don't have a plan. They don't have a clue. You know, and then now you find generation after generation, children raising children, children raising children, children. And then you grow up, you know, mom, grandma, the now grandma about 30 years old or late 20s. Maybe late 20s, 30, grandma. And this is this is where we are today. So, and then the adults, man, come on, uh, brothers and sisters, adults, young, uh, older people, still around around here, you, you still around around here trying to be young. You still still right around here trying to be eighteen and you uh fifty years old. Come on, come on, it's time for us to change. It's time for us to do something better. But I, I wanted to really get into this tonight with my co host and I wanna really get into to it tonight with all our audience, but it seems like everybody is a little slow tonight, you know, dragging in and I I may have to just reschedule this uh for next week, maybe, you know, next week. Because we'll get to a point now um, that, you know, I know everybody's time is valuable. I know, you know, this is a sacrifice. It's a sacrifice to come on and, and try to build. I mean, we've been trying to build a TV station and radio station for a while. Well, I got the radio part down pat, but the TV part, the audience for the TV is a little slow, is a little weak. So we are trying to get that up. We're trying to get that up tonight, but maybe we'll come back to, to, to next week because I really didn't want to get into it. I want to be able to interact with you guys. I want to interact with the viewers. I want to listen. I want to read the comments and talk about the comments. And this is where we try to do each and every week to have a different topic, to come up and discuss things that we or our children or your neighbor children, somebody might face and we can get a, a understanding or a matter of fact, plant a seed. And if we can plant a seed, you know, God is going to water. God will add to it. All we got to do is plant a seed. All we have to do is make you aware. All we have to do is compensate and let somebody come in and let their let their, their thinking start, you know? So that's the way we are. I'm not going to read scriptures. I had a couple of scriptures I wanted to share uh, tonight. But uh, 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 again, again, we, we want to get the numbers up. I, I, I think I promoted it a little bit earlier than normal. But we definitely want to get the numbers back up and we want to get this uh, uh, going again and, and with the conversation and the things of, of that sort. So, again, uh, you know, we're going to have to I'm, I've been saying I'm going to have to plan different because, you know, I'm, I, it's like I'm being held up. But at the same time, I'm doing everything. I cannot do everything myself. You know, when you when you the one you setting up the TV, you setting up the the video, you setting up the audio, you setting up the the radio sh uh, broadcast. You, you're getting the 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 pieces together 
we need people to promote. We need people to go out here and, and, and get people to come on the radio broadcast. We need people. We need sponsorship. And, and, and trying to one person cannot do it all. And then people want to know, well, why we're not growing? Because you got one person trying to do it all. And one person trying to wear all the hats. One person cannot wear all the hats. You know, one person cannot wear all the hats. You know, Moses, when I was looking at Moses for Sunday, you know, God was directing me to Moses and uh, the children of Israel. And I'm not going to go into the message that God was giving me this week. But in my studies, you know, Moses got really burdened with putting on, had all the hats. He had all the hats. And to a point that Moses was like, hey, man, you know, these are, uh, this is not my children. These are not my children. Did they come out of my womb? And this is where we are. This is where we are. And so I was hoping that uh, more people were going to be on tonight so we could discuss and talk about uh, the child, you know, adults with a child mentality and young people having uh, uh, having children. Uh, basically, they're not ready. And then they go through the struggles in life. They go through so much, you know. And so this is where we are, but we're going to, um, as a matter of fact, here go, um, Bishop, he popped in. Let me bring him in. Let me bring him in. And so we might, we, we probably won't be that long today. Uh, we want to be on here for a little bit. Let me bring him in. Okay. Hey, uh, can you hear me, Bishop? Yes, sir. Can you hear me? Yep. Loud and clear. Loud and clear. We, the numbers are not showing tonight. Um, I'm on the radio. The radio listeners are on. Um, the viewers that we had last week, we had uh, actually over 140 viewers, um, last week when I looked at it today, you know, maybe I think like 147 tonight is, is, uh, very empty tonight. And I didn't know if we want to just hit this last night. Cause I got scriptures and stuff that I want to kind of tie in. And I really wanted to, um, you know, have the input because actually this was some of the end conversation that people were having at the end of the show about, you know, adults out here with the child mentality acting like children, basically. And so we can, um, we can, we can power the spirit fall. You, you want to, you want to hit it and we can go on through it a little bit here. We get to jump off early tonight and then we'll come back hard on next week. Can you hear me? So where, where did you leave off, Bishop? I mean, uh, uh, look, I actually, I didn't, I just started talking about adults, how, you know, we got 50 year olds still trying to be 18. We got young grown men trying to steal sad pants. You know, this is, you know, we supposed to be teaching and showing other young brothers how to be men, but yet the men are not even being men, but then they say they grown, you know, and this, so this is the society we are, we are at right now. You know, you look, like you said, you looking at, uh, an adult, a grown man, should be able to show by an example on how to handle a situation, but they out here as is acting just as crazy as the 18, 19, 20 year old. Not only that, but you got you all you 50 years old, you riding downtown, they can hear you eight blocks away because your music's so loud, but you you grown. Grown real men don't walk, don't ride around town booming their box and walking around with their pants sagging. This is the this is where we are today. So this is where we are, uh, Bishop. So, <clears throat> I think a lot of the reason why some of those men do that is because nobody showed them. Mm -hmm. they, they, they were never taught or they never had probably a role model uh, to show them that. So, they're only doing what they know. And what they know is trying to be cool in the streets, trying to be hip, trying to get drunk and pick up women, you know, walking around, you know, just at, once you get a certain age, there's certain requirements of you. There's certain requirements of you. You know, people not going to give you a break like, okay, you don't understand anymore. I don't understand why people 50 years old still walk around with your pants hanging down, still walk around with clothes on that you know you should not be having and this is for the women 50 year old women hanging out with their daughters okay 50 year old men smoking weed with their sons and drinking 
that's not that's not even if I was still in the world I would not do that with my son mm-hmm. I not I would not do that with my son at, at some point you're not growing and you're not doing this because nobody ever showed you this so I'd like to say this some people get stuck in the season and the season they stuck in is the last season that was good to them So it was good for you when you was doing certain things, when you was younger. That was just a great season for you. Mm -hmm. But as time progressed and you and you aged, you you didn't change. Right. You 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 didn't change. So you didn't you didn't move with the times. And if 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 you notice, we serve a very progressive God. God is a progressive God. That's why everything ages. That's why everything gets computers everything's moving forward nothing stands the same the only thing that's the same is his word Mm -hmm. but everything else ages everything in the earth ages even the earth ages plants animals humans everything ages that's because we serve a very 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 progressive god so you know pastor i got some people you know even in my family who still do this stuff Mm -hmm. Still we, do this stuff. We, we, and I was just meditating on that today too, and I think a lot of this comes from generational curses too. Mm. Some that some 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 people curse with certain things in their life, and they don't even know why. A lot of this is because your mom smoked, your mom did stuff, your mom slept around, your dad was an abuser. So guess what? You follow in their footsteps. You follow in their footsteps because guess what, Pastor? What did we do with our son? We told them, you going to school. You in this house, you're going to do certain things. You're going to do this, you're going to do that. And there was no choices. We set standards mm-hmm. for them. We set mm-hmm. standards and we became role models for them. When our son seen us, they knew we ain't play. Mm-hmm. They knew we ain't play, Pastor. They knew how we was. They knew not to be coming in there trying to talk about to us, trying to do all they wanted to do and all that. They knew, they know they didn't do that, Pastor. What do we say? When you get a certain age, when you go to college or you get the job. So they didn't have that space, Pastor, to really get out there. So all they know is what we trained them up to do. Mm -hmm. So now both of our sons in school, both of our sons ain't been to jail and shooting people. Lord, say the same for these next years. But I'm trying to say is this because they have role models in their life. And I know a lot of men like that, that that's good role models to their sons. And their sons are decent human beings. And they're trying and they're doing stuff and they're staying out of trouble. I just told you the story about how my son's working out hard. He's how proud I am of him. How proud I am with him with his first year in college. With the COVID, he really couldn't do nothing. He had no roommate. And it was hard on him. But I like to think that the teaching that me and, and my wife um, and, and instilled in them, and you and Pastor Carol instilled in your kids that stuck with them through hard times. But they also knew, Pastor, that they knew God. Whether they is, is sold out as we are, they know the Lord. They know sometimes that they have to, that they're going to have to pray and seek the Lord. Amen. Hey, Amen, Bishop. You, you're right, man. You know, um, we're thankful. That's That's by the grace of God that we have have trained up our our children, you know, uh, they're not on the street, they're not, you know, out here selling drugs, they're not in a gang, um, you know, they're trying to be productive, they're trying to get higher education, and so that's all, we thank God for that, you know, but there are so many people that are, they don't have that opportunity, and they grow out, grow, grow up because they didn't have a dad, dad, a father, you know, they had an in and out type of situation, you know, maybe their dad was locked up, but that still uh, get to a point where we talk. You just mentioned generational uh, curses, but a lot of people, uh, they kind of shy away and say that there's no uh, generational curse. And, you know, and that's something that maybe, you you know, you can expound on when we go back to you. But a lot of people don't believe in that, you know, they, they say, hey, there ain't no generational curses. You know, they said they're not punished for, they're not, you know, they you don't, know, you know, they're not do, they don't get done. They don't do the things that they follow. But in essence, we do. In essence, we do. You know, you're looking at your father. Your father was a Casanova and you ran the women. Your, your granddaddy ran the women. 
That is that not is that not traditional or, or I mean, uh, 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 you know, um, it's it's, it's uh, 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 descendants after descendants after descendants doing the same things, you know. You, 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 your father was a nightclub rambler, and you was a nightclub rambler. Your son's nightclub rambler. Is that not generational curses of doing the same bad things? They, that, so. If you look at that aspect, you gotta you gotta understand that that's really really a, really a curse to, to do these these things these deeds. But anyway, so we get to a point now. We gotta understand that you know we're looking at these these fathers out here not being fathers. You know, this is the part where men are not being men. Men are in and out. They're getting what they want. They don't have no desire to marry the women and the, uh, uh, and to be in a relationship. Or they might be married and they might be out here slipping and sliding and diving. And that, so that's not being a man either, you know, because man, a man gonna stay there even if things ain't right, even if, even if 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 that spark ain't still kindled, a man gonna say, you know, I'm not gonna do that, I'm not going outside that. But you know what, men do it, men do it, men do it, and then they still playing around here, like I said, walking around here trying to act like the young people. And then you said something very very good, grandmas today's grandma out here trying to party with the children. I mean, I know some. They trying to be, at, at, they out here dressing just like their children. And when they, and, and what happens, Bishop, they love the compliment. And what they do is they, they say, oh, your mama look like your sister. Now the mama head about big as this screen. And she said, I know I got it going on. Now it gives her, especially because she in the flesh, she knows she in the flesh. So now it gives her a bigger thing to go out here and be and do something even better. Matter of fact, she want to outlook her daughter. And and love it when the daughter of uh, friends from school ho- try to holler at her, flirt with her. They, man, they, they, some of these mothers, they love this stuff. And so they not being mother. And guess what? Their kid have a kid, and guess what? They're going to do the same thing. They're going to do the same thing. Because if the mama doing it, and then the daughter doing it, and then the daughter has a baby, and nobody's trying to, trying to show them the right way, guess what? All of them, three of them doing the same thing. And to somebody... It step in and say, this is wrong. This is not the way that a woman is supposed to carry herself. This is not a way that a man is supposed to carry himself. Man don't go, real men don't go out here and just shoot up the neighborhood. These are little boys. They don't go, they don't go around out there doing that. Not a real man. And they, the first thing they want to say, man, I'm a real man. No, you're not. Not to be going around here shooting in chaos. And that's the thing. That's where we are. You know, so... We're looking at that. We're looking at the young people having children and they aren't ready for fatherhood or motherhood. This is the biggest thing that we're seeing now because you're seeing the struggle. I mean, you're thinking about an 8, 17, 16 year old, maybe let's go back, maybe even a 13 year old, maybe 13 year old, 14 year old, 15 year old, have a baby. Okay, you can't reverse that. But if they, they don't have a, a, a nurtured mother or a nurtured grandmother, that baby, that that young that young girl already in a struggle already. For she even twenty, she is in a serious struggle. Then you're looking at uh, some of them. Some of these young ladies have more than one kid, and they already fighting a struggle because they put the they put the cart before the horse. They didn't plan, you know. They they didn't plan and have their goals out. You know, and, and then they, 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 they was mesmerized by what a, a dude said to him. You know, that's, you know, we, I think we did a show one time before about how, you know, uh, women are, are more listeners. Men are more visual. You know, we look at a woman we're like, man, she bad. You know, she, she nice. Then, then the woman like, oh, man, you know, he, he, he sound like he, he got it going on. See that that's how that's how you know so a woman you know she is she is uh moved by man's conversation she enjoy conversation he she, she listen to what he's saying he got game you know but like oh see uh, but an old school woman that them been out there she can recognize that and say oh that 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 joker got a little game with him you know because he he said he got words it's just the same thing you know a woman go to go to get the car go to oil change. An oil chain would have cost fifty six dollars. Now, when she left, she done paid the man two hundred because she listened to everything else this man had to say. See, because words, Eve failed because she listened to Satan. She listened to the voice, and when she listened to it, she's like, "Oh man, I can be wise. Like, like I can be. I can. I can know something. I can be like God. What? 
give me this fruit. What? And so, therefore, that's where the mistake mess up at. That's where the mistake mess up. Is. And so, you're looking at these young girls, and you know they and, and, and don't have an apartment. They like to get pregnant, staying at the house, and then they got to move out. They're going to get their own place. And 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 then the thing about it, a lot of our young women are getting guys that they ain't even working. They ain't thinking about working. They don't want no job. It is just where we are. They don't want no job. So what, what you guys, what you guys uh, are watching? What you guys think about it? I mean, would you guys want somebody that don't work? You know, do you want somebody that that won't get up and go fill out that vacation? Don't want to work, or do you want somebody that all, that almost got? He might not got it all the way there, but he's he's striving for it. And I think that should be for everybody. I think a lot of people want to, to find somebody that's first godly and nice and sweet to them, and not only that, but they got something on their mind. That's what the you know the old school used to teach you. You know, if they ain't got nothing on their mind, you better leave them where they at. And that's what they were saying for real. If you, if, if they ain't about that, but back in the day, uh, Bishop, our parents wanted to know who you were dating. They wanted to know their parents, and if they knew something about their parents, like their parents didn't have no no rules and no regulation, no order, and they they let anything go, and you can stay the night, and you ain't you, you know you the girlfriend or the boyfriend, you you can stay, and they got everything going on, you know, look at house car party, you ain't going over there, you not going over there, and so young people having children and they ain't ready for fatherhood. And and motherhood because look at these young boys out here. They celebrate, hey man, they dapping each other up. Bishop, yeah, man, about to have about to have a little seed, man. Yeah, man, but they won't take care of the seed. They think we have because they buy an outfit, oh they good. Oh, they buy a pair of Jordans for the little baby Jordans, they good. Oh, they think, you know, hey, you know, but it, it's more than that. It's more than that. And a lot of women, I see them struggling with the children by themselves. I, I, I said this on the show one time before. Uh, uh, one little young boy I know was in his, like third third grade, really had a hard time um, at home because his father wouldn't want to be in his life, and he was you know he was really really having a difficult time um, with a lot of stuff in there. You know, hating his mom and you know not functioning in school and. You know, all of these things because his dad would never spend no time. Dad wouldn't come pick him up. Dad just lied to him, you know, all of this stuff. And, 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 and when other kids have their dad at school, his dad don't show up and stuff like that right there. You you know, that put that plays, that put a lot of stress on the kids. So then you got to realize that, that the young people, when you make a mistake, it don't just affect you. It affect that child, you know, it affect the child growing up. Now, a lot of times they can't even grow right because the boyfriend and the girlfriend arguing in the house and the child become unbalanced because of the issues in the house. And that's what happened. Um, uh, Sister um, Rashida, Sister Rashida said what happened to the village helping the children? That, well, that's the point. Nobody wants to wants the village to help anymore because you you can now the attitude because there's some people want to help and we do try to help. We do pitch in. You know, I know I try to do my part and I know Bishop, he stepped in and tried to do his part. But there's some people say, hey, don't talk to my child. That's the that's the mentality we have because the, 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 the people changed, you know, the heart and condition of, of, of community because we basically become selfish. And that's what has creeped up. That's what happened to the village because the village, they are some, but when that when you try to reach out, when you try to reach out, some of them say, you can't tell my child what to do. Uh, uh, you know, you, you can't do this and you can't do that. You're not his daddy. You know, but then you got some that would say, you know what, I really appreciate you um, talking to my son. You know, I really appreciate you, um, you know, saying what you said to him. You know, a lot of people understand that, you know, and maybe that because they mama and they daddy talk that. But we're talking about some of some of them didn't have no no daddy, you know, didn't have no grandma or the grandma still parting or whatever the case may be. And so the village, yeah, we, we should be helping one another. We should be looking out for each other. But the neighbors should be saying, you know what? I saw your uh, I saw your um, son of the day. They were kind of acting not like I, I, you know they weren't acting right. They was out actually disrespecting um, this elderly woman. And, and the man would say, look, we well, don't tell me that about my child. I raise my child like I want to, and you raise yours. And that's the problem where we are today because they get they're getting that finger. Let me tell you something. I raise I raise mine. I take care of me and mine. Don't you worry about how I raise my children. And they need the help. They really need the help. So you know that's where we are. That's where we are with the point. Um, that we're trying to help. Bishop, go ahead and get in. So, I think there's a there's a couple factors. 
two. Number one, times are different. Times, the times have changed. Uh, when we was growing up, we didn't have a lot of these devices that distract us now. So now, if kids got phones, iPhones, laptops, games, these things begin to dominate their thoughts now. Because now, at a touch of a button, they can see and do pretty much what they want to do. So there's not really, you know, we can give them uh guidance but a lot of learning and a lot of their attention now is spoken of is focused on technology it's focused on technology uh i want to be a youtube star i want to be an ig star uh, i could get res by getting on youtube and shaking my butt or i can get popular by insulting people or showing portraying a lot of money or so they're, they're, they're not, the time have changed the times have changed. So on our part too, we got to look at it like stuff that worked for us is not going to work for them. It's not going to work for them because they are into different stuff. And these kids now intelligence level is very high. They're very high. I mean, they are encouraged uh, by, through TV, through radio, through music. They are encouraged to do bad things. I shoot you up and I come to clock you. Oh, I smoke more weed than now, than now, now. Girls on there half naked. I don't need an end if he ain't got the money. If you ain't got money, you can't have me. So all this stuff is being played over and over again in their minds. So now these girls think that, and what do we say, Pastor? If the dudes, if the women would say, oh, that's ugly, you sagging your pants. They will stop. But women want to do that sag his pants. Women want to do that look a certain kind of way. They want a certain dude. If they're not talking the way they talk, you know what I'm saying? So society has really crept in and has pretty much dictated some things. That if your parenting skills aren't um, good, <clears throat> you're going to be fighting an uphill battle. You're going to be fighting an uphill battle. You're going to have to make sure that who who's influencing your kids. And I know, this is one thing I know. If my son say something, I can pretty much pinpoint where it came from. Because I know what we say, what our language is, and when you say something, what your language is. So my, my, my sons already know, don't say no, ain't, ain't no cussing. I don't care how old you is. You can't know her. You going to church. You still here. You, you going to church, whether you want to or not. If I got to put you in the headlock, whatever I got to do, as long as you under my roof, it's my rules. So they know that. You know what I'm saying? So there, they know it's going to be consequences if they don't do it. What's the consequences for now, kids, how they talk to their parents? Some kids talk to their parents with absolutely no respect. Mm. With no respect. So when that happens, Pastor... All that does is by the time they get to 25, 26, they haven't been trained up properly. So now they become worse. It just has escalated now. It just has escalated now. So all I think about is partying, women, smoking weed. Now, there are a vast amount of kids who do go to college. So I'm not going to say that that the generation is lost. Because there is a lot of uh, people going to college, a lot, but it's not publicized. See, once again, Pastor, they had all these black men, young teens, well, young black men, one of the biggest classes ever of black men to graduate. Nobody didn't say nothing about that. You know what they did? Oh, they showed the gangbanger dude. Oh, they showed the dude up in, in the store fighting. Oh, they said, world star. This is see, this, Pastor. We gotta we gotta put some of this on the, on the media too. They don't they they show what they want to show, mm -hmm. and what they show is trash. They mm -hmm. soon as you soon as the news come on, horror here, fires and blah blah blah, and shootings and oh, uh, the vaccines killing people. There's no if you had a show that just had feel good news on there, it wouldn't last. If all you showed on the, on the news is the good things that happened throughout the day, 
It'll never last. But I, it will never last. They got to have drama because drama and sex sells. So a lot of it is on the media. But when it comes down to it, when it comes down to it, there's no Christ in it. There's no Christ. There's no Christ, Pastor. Once we push him to the side and we begin to try to throw him overboard, this is what we get now. We, this is what we get now. See, now it's okay not to believe in God. It's okay to blaspheme him, his name. It's okay not to go to church. It's okay not to believe in Jesus. It's, it's, it's okay. They don't, you don't hear no TV shows pushing Jesus. They don't open up with prayer. They don't say nothing about Jesus on the news. They, don't, they, they, they say zero stuff. About, wonder if news stations would open up in prayer or end in prayer on a scripture. If they're going to do that, Pastor. No, they ain't doing that. They're not doing that because we are in a world. And this is now where Satan has a grasp on things to where the media and radio and what we watch now dictates to us. It dictates to us. It just dictates to us, Pastor. This was all kind of misinformation. It's people lying on the news, people lying in the White House, people doing because people believe now what they hear. Oh, I seen Bigfoot. Next thing you know, it's all on the news. Girl says she seen Bigfoot. Oh, they said it's a UFO that landed in Harlem. And, it, and people believe that because they say it on the news or they say it on these YouTube channels. It's disinformation. The Bible clearly says, my people perish from lack of knowledge. So when I give you misinformation, mm -hmm. this is what happens. This is what happens. This is what happens, Pastor, because media it uh, has has um, dominates what we see, what we hear, and there's no Christ. There's no scripture reading on TV. There's no people saying the name of Jesus. They don't show people worshiping on uh, on primetime TV, on football games, or nothing like that. They don't show that. What they show, they they love when a fan run on the field, Pastor. Or they love when somebody fighting or something like that. Or they going, oh, that's gonna get prime time. Oh, they love it when it's when it's black on black crime or the police didn't kill the man. Oh, they all over that. But how about you show when somebody gets saved? How about you show when somebody get healed in the hospital and they call on the name of Jesus and they say Jesus did it? They don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. They don't want to do it because it's gonna hurt their ratings. Because that's what if, when it comes down to it, Pastor. This just be totally honest. That ain't what people want to see. That ain't what people want to hear. And if we get down to it, this just 100 because we keep it 100, Pastor. Some Christians don't want to hear that on TV. Oh, I went to church already. I had enough of that. I had enough of that already. Oh, my God. Here we go again. Oh, they got Bible on TV now. Oh, they, they showing Jesus stuff. Some Christians don't even want to hear it. So this is what we face, Pastor, is... Too many things are dominating what we hear and what we see and the fact that Christ now is not a priority in the United States. Amen? Amen, Bishop. You're right. It's not just not a priority. It's um, not only not a priority in America, but it's becoming not a priority in the family's homes. And and that's where it's, it starts. And basically, we, we see that there's millions of people that basically have walked away from the covering and the covering is, is Christ. The covering is the spirit of God. And so this is why we do all, why we see all these things. Uh, you made something, made a point there about how, uh, sex sales, how, uh, the bad worst things are, are, are selling now, you know, cause granted, if we was on here, uh, as many people that know us, People that maybe we grew up with that's still out there. Man, listen, if we was doing a a uh, Snoop Dogg in, in, impersonator and we was out here with the the uh, the liquor and the the blunt and everybody just smoking back and drinking and getting high, it probably couldn't even be another comment uh, spot field uh, on this on this live right now. It'll be probably two thousand some people already watching right now if that's what we was at. Auburn talking about 
you know, uh, the gang stuff and talking about the street hustle and talking about this and that. We could the, the numbers on this live would be 2.7, 2.9, 3,000 people watching. You know, uh, controversy issues, uh, uh, this type of stuff, that's sales. You know, but we be out here trying to conversate and help people and get people a thinking that, hey, you know what? They said something. Let me let me go and recheck something in my family because because yeah, my kids are not acting right, and I I need to do better. See, they, this right here is, is is where people could really get something, and then the spirit will turn right around and put something else in their spirit, and then they'll get better. But as you see, it's not that many people on tonight. You know, we had a hundred something last week, but we had gotten up to nine hundred, you know, thousand people, and you know what? That's part of Facebook too. Facebook is sending sending algorithm, so a lot of people are not even seeing that we are on live. That normally used to when we was getting those high numbers, they not even seeing that we are on live now. They not even popping up on their feed that we live. You know, see this is this, this is the thing that Facebook do. But if we me and him were arguing and me and him were fighting and fighting and we were calling each other's names every alphabet in the world, Facebook would let it run through our all social media. I mean, everybody get it. It'll be on their little video feeds. Arguing me and him fighting. Talking about we, what we're going to do to each other. That was sale. But we out here trying to encourage people because we know that there's men out here still with a child mentality. Still grown folks still walking around here. Men, men and women walking around here with a child mentality. And trying to do everything they see on TV. And this is where we are. So you're looking at the media, the media, like I said, the media push stuff to sale, but it would be something different to see them open up in prayer and see them close in prayer. They, matter of fact, I want to say, no, don't quote me to a hundred percent, but back in the day in the eighties that they ended with prayer, they ended with thanking God for the day. We continue to be praying for our nation so long, so long, good night. And they, and they, when they went off at 12 o'clock, you remember when the news went off at 12 o'clock? You know, when I it went off at 12 and all of that. So they used to say stuff like that, but that changed because they said mm, that stuff ain't selling. But if they started talking about Christ more, if they started talking about God more, their ratings will go down. Their ratings will go all the way down. So now they sold out. Now they they in they in it now. They 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 like, man, we 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 can't we can't turn back now. We can't we can't turn back and do 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 like we should because we ain't gonna get no ratings. We ain't gonna make no money. But that's, we're going back to what we're looking at. Um, uh, Sister Rashida said that we have to pray for this nation. That's right. We every every Sunday I make it, you know, make it in my prayer to pray for our nation and the leaders. Amen. Whoever's in the office, from the White House down to the local government, everybody. Amen. Praying for this nation that that God that deliverance come to this nation. This is what we got to continue to do. And then she said, spoil the, uh, spoil the child, spare the rod. Yeah, that's basically what was happening. You know, I still, when they said that people say, man, they, they told you, you can't whoop me, kid. I was still whooping my son. I was still whooping my son. Elementary school, middle school, he was getting it. And when he used to, when he was growing up, it was about seventh grade. You know, seventh grade, going to eighth grade, you know how they start smelling themselves and he want to try to uh, uh, brush up and suck them jaws in and start blowing like a bull in the field. I said, you, oh, you want to blow? And you got some more. And I went in harder then. Well, I took that belt like I lost my mind. Don't you ever bust up at me. Don't you ever blow your breath at me. That's what you got to do. That's exactly what you got to do. So this is where we are. You know, this is where we are today. But Pastor, let me just say this, and I'm going to let you get back in there. This is why these kids act like this, because a man still has a child mentality where he doesn't have the understanding now that he's a father. So he don't, see, they want to run from father um, duties, but they want husband um, benefits, benefits <laughs> but they don't want father duties. So now I want benefits. But when it comes to taking care of my kid, since I'm still, my mindset is still as a child, I don't understand about being a father. Amen? Amen. And you're right on it, man. You know, they don't, the mindset has to be changed. And and only when, when, uh, when, what happens, the, the, the nail, the nail biter is this. 
that that this nation of men and women needs to be delivered. And when you are delivered, you begin to see better and think better and act better, do better, perform better. You know, you, you, you know, you still make mistakes, but guess what? You ain't gonna make the same mistakes, just something different. And you feel bad when you do make a mistake and you try that much harder to get it right. But now, like you said, no, they want the benefits of being a, 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 a husband benefits, but they don't want the commitment. They don't want to make a covenant with their wife. It, it, because it's easy to say, you know what? When I get tired, I can go over here on my next, now my next chick house. You know, and that's what, that's what's happening. You know? And, 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 and what the enemy has done is blinded the man because it, the listen, enemy, enemy knows that if men was, if men was, was raised up in this nation and was teaching their children the values and, and, and teaching them in the admiration of the Lord, guess what? Now you got another army of men with standard fighting up godly men. I'm talking about prayer warriors. I'm talking about fighting warriors. Now you got more men doing their job, doing what they were called to do, would be leaders. But hey, we ain't got that. We ain't got that. So the enemy that blinded them and said, you know what? Hey man, listen. Let let you let your let your chick have her have her kids. She live on the system. And basically, let me blind you. You ain't got the work. You go over there and stay with them. Because you got food. Your rent paid for. Light paid for. All you got to do is, is sin. All you got to do is just lay in the bed. All you got to do is play the game. That's all you got to do. You ain't got the work. And you going to eat. That's what now the enemy done put in the mindset of so many of our young brothers. The girls stand. And some of them will risk, that, risk, their, risk their children eating. Uh, having a the man there, and then they get caught, and then everything get cut off. Their food stamp get cut off. Their assistance get cut off, all because of a man that won't work and won't try to say, you know what? Uh, uh, wh while you are on this assistance, while you are, are getting food stamps, while you are getting housing, while you're getting your light bill paid, look, let me let me try to create a career so that for uh, I can help you, and we can all come up and grow together, and we can we can start increasing. That's what we should be thinking. But they want to live on it for generation after generation after generation after generation after generation. Now, there's summertime, you know, every once in a while, all of us need some help. But there's some people that have been getting the help for like nine generations, they, 10 generations, seven generations. I'm talking about since this, the 70s and the 80s and the 90s. Great, great grandma was getting it. Great, great grandma was living in the projects. Grandma was living in the project. Mom was living in the project. Daughter was living in the project. Granddaughter was living. Great, great, grand. Great, 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 grand. Living in the project under the same system. And, and people say there's, not, there's no, uh, <laughs> no, no curses out here. That is a curse. But here's the thing. The Bible tells us in Psalms 37 and 23. The steps of a good man. See, you want to be a good man. Do you want to be a good man? The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord and he delighteth in his way. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. Who's ordering your steps when you out here game banging, when you out here laying up and, and making babies all over, over everywhere and you ain't taking care of none of them? What? You, you ain't walking in God's uh, 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 footsteps. You ain't. You're not, your, your steps are not ordered by God, basically. If you out here doing, you know, you saying you you want to you want to be you on a block, want to hang on a block all day in the girl world. That's what that's a new thing too now. Some that ain't, might not be getting assisted, but they going to their job. So 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 the boyfriend ain't gonna take the girl to the job, and they going back home and chill. They gonna ride around with their homeboys all day. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. Who's ordering your steps today? That's what that's what you need to understand. Who ordering your steps? And then uh, twenty four. Though he fall, he shall not utterly cast down, for the Lord upholdeth him in his hand. In other words, us that are that 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 are walking, Amen, in the admiration of the Lord, us that are, our steps are ordered by God. Even if we fall, He gonna lift us up. Even when we fall, and he, he he right there to grab us, Amen. Even if we fall down, He gonna pick us up because we 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 are headed in that right direction. But a lot of brothers out here, you ain't heading in the right direction and you ain't teaching your child in the right direction. I seen I seen this video, man, and it's almost it's disturbed me so bad, Bishop. This father was in a store 
buying something and it was like an Arab store. It was like an Arab store and the kid, the Arab came out from the back and was just saw the kid up there trying to be nice and offer the kid a lot of pop. And he said, oh, do you want this lot of pop? And he had the lot of pop in his hand. He said, do you want a lot of pop? And the little boy said, no, nah. he smacked the lot of pop. Smacked a lot of pop out of his hand, talking about no, and, and and the dad looked at the man like he like if he say something. So then he said he said now I was being and he reached that he looked down he went down to the young young boy he said I was just being nice to you and the young boy smacked him so hard and his daddy said and do something. You see what this is what this is what these gangsters are teaching their children. And 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 and, and because they teach them that he he could end up dead. Before he's 20. You know, Lean On Me was one of the realest movies. And that actually was a real story. Lean On Me. And I mean, that was one of my favorites. You know, uh, 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 my mom was like, yeah, you know, that would happen in times. You know, she was in Jersey before I was born. You know, and, and the thing about it was he was talking to him on the real tip. He said, you know what? You dead. Not even know it. He said, you leave out of here. You'll be dead in a week. You, you hear me, son? You'll be dead in a week. This is where we, you know, we've lost it now. We don't tell people the real deal now. We just want to patty mm -hmm. cake it and, you know, we don't want to sugarcoat it. You know, and this is what, because we lost fire, because we, we, done, we, we didn't lost what our grandma and them had. Guess what? A generation now done took over the rise. Now you can't say nothing to nobody. But I guess if we kept that sternness, if we had kept that sternness going on, it might have be a little bit more respect. But, but, but then again, these, the, our grandma and them had God. You know, they believed in God. That you won't go act crazy. You know, they went to church. They might not all did things right, but guess what? They gonna believe in that God now. You going to get God some time. And you, now we asking them about asking them that where, where's the youth at? You know, why the youth ain't coming to church? Because the parents ain't bringing them. Mama, I don't want to go. I don't want to go to church. They too long. They bored. I don't want to go to church. Mama, I don't, so don't want to go to church. All right, well, just stay on here then. Look, don't go nowhere. Just, be, just stay here until I come back. Now the kid doing whatever he want to do. Who is running the house? This is this is where we are. Who is running the house? You know, so so now we got the parents uh, are like waiters and doormen. This is basically where we are, and and the children are not ready because you see, yes, we have struggles. And I remember when I was out in the world, I had a struggle. My lights kept getting cut off. I, I moved from one project to the next project because I was living that lifestyle. So now I can be a witness and, and I can I can go out there and share that with somebody else that's doing the same thing and going through and say, listen, this is how I made it out. But a lot of times we don't want to do that. We don't want to share that. Uh, so too young to father and too young to mother. You know, the Bible tells us in Matthew 19 and 5, and this is going to be the last scripture for me tonight. The Bible says, and said, for this cause shall a man leave his father and mother and cling to his wife. And then he said nothing about cleaving to your girlfriend. It didn't say nothing about cleaving to your boyfriend. I mean, this is what I was mentioned in Bible study. How can people be married for 30, I mean, be shacking for 30, 40 years and they comfortable with that? Don't make no covenant with their wife, no commitment. No, no, you know, because if she pissed me off, I just go over there to my mama's house. I'll go over there and I'll stay with my brother for a little while. See, no commitment. But you, you know, you say, oh, shoot, man, we've we been together so long, man, we ain't getting married. But you ain't doing right before the Lord. Because Paul said it's rather for a man to marry than to burn. So if you can't abstain yourself, you know, control yourself, then you better marry. But for this cause shall a man leave his father and mother and shall cleave, cleave to his wife. And they twain, they two, shall be one flesh. Because they'll become one spirit. You know, what, what you feel, your wife feel. And vice versa. Right? And you want. But now you don't understand that. It's more deeper than just the bedroom. See, people don't realize that. And this is why we need to have a deep conversation, a forum where people would just come on because it's, it's more than a, than a one night fling. It's, it's, more than a, it's more than the bed, man. Because emotionally, you got the, emotionally, uh, uh, the feeling wise, you got the bed, but emotionally, you a wreck because he gone, he come in when he want to. You know he over there cheat with Laverne. You know he over there with Shell. You know he doing wrong and you, you still put up with it. This is where we are. And then your children see that. Your little daughter see it. She growing up and see it. I don't know where your dad at. Probably over there one of his side chicks. But he, he, it's like he coming home to mom. And then you look at the little girl and say, well, oh, I guess that's where it's supposed to be. 
That's it, bitch. Amen. Amen. I, I I think it's a it's a problem. And like I said, the only answer is gonna be Christ. Um more mentors, but I mean it's such a stronghold, Pastor. It's, it's such a stronghold. Um, but it's but there are a lot of men in position. So I'm not gonna sit up here and act like me and you are just a couple men that's the only one doing it. There are a lot of men in position. But at the same time, there's a lot of men that's not in position. Okay, there's a lot of women in position. But there's also a lot of women not in position. And when we stop praising God and Christ openly, when we start putting them first, this is what comes to this. It, it just things get bad no matter how you look at it. Things get bad. So, yeah, this is a great show, Pastor. Great topic. Amen. Um, something maybe we can address down the line. Um, maybe me and you can try to do something, some type of man counseling or something. I know the, uh, one of the uh, senior sergeants wanted us to talk to some gang members. So maybe we need to revisit some of that, Pastor. But um, just some great points tonight. And we do appreciate everybody for, for tuning in to the show tonight. We hope you enjoyed yourself. We hope you got something. Like me, uh, like Pastor Nino said, just just a lot of stuff that's attacking us as far as the numbers and because of the way we do. You know, we just, you getting some real talk from pastors who love the Lord. So y'all keep us in prayer. Amen. Amen. Amen, Bishop. We do love the Lord and, you know, we love people, man. This is why we come on here and try to share topics and talk to help maybe bring some clarity and insight to people that may be going through. Because you you might be one of those ones. You've been in and out of a relationship. You might have been going through and, and you know what? You want to change. Well, you know what? The only change that can ever happen is when you get into Christ, when you follow Christ and it gets better. You know, things that you thought that you could not do, you begin to do. And so that's what we got to continue to move and march forward, you know, but this is where we are. You know, I, I think we might need to have a, a panel discussion of, of some people on here, some younger people on here. You know, that's what we need to maybe maybe try to find for next week, man. Maybe, you know, two girls and two 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 young young men or a young sister or young brother. And, and maybe we hit on these this this conversation part two. Because they they see it, they might have friends. We we might need to talk to some high school people or some people that just graduated from high school in college and what you know what some of their friends are dealing with. You know the struggles that they're dealing with. Maybe some might have had kids. You know we we need to maybe de 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 bring that up to help. Uh, you know maybe getting enlightening on it. You know maybe from hearing it from our young people. You know maybe that that single mom maybe come on here and, and talk about her struggle. You know. That single a dad on here is, you know, maybe get on here and might say, you know, I hear what you're saying. You know, I, I wasn't that dad, but, you know, I'm, 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 I'm maturing slowly. But anyway, that's where we are. We're here every Wednesday night, uh, 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time and uh, 8 o'clock Central. And this is uh, also broadcasting on the TMA Radio broadcast of Men to Men Talk Back the Talk Show. And we want to say thank you for all of them that are watching in Africa and uh, Egypt. We want to thank those that are in Asia. We want to thank God for those in France. We thank God for Italy. And we thank God for those in Rome and all over. I mean, all over the world. We thank God for those tuning in on iHeartRadio, tuning in, listening in. Uh, we back broadcasting because we have been gone from the radio because we're doing more with the live. But we ain't forgot you because the radio people have been with us since we've been started. So we, we want to we say we're sorry, you know, we're not broadcasting, but we're definitely getting back into the groove because we're thankful. People don't get on live. People might not hear the live, but they, this, this radio broadcast has been around for nine years. So we thank God for that, and we thank God for all of you on here tonight. Uh, hit that share button. If you share it on your page, you know, tag somebody, tag seven friends, and tell them to check us out. And we're here to talk about different topics to maybe help somebody along the way. God bless you, and we'll see you next week. All right, we'll see you next week.